We all have instrument cords and cables that we love to wrap in church, and often we wrap them doing it this way. I want to teach you, with the help of our production leader, Dave Marcus here, how to properly wrap an instrument or microphone cord. All right, so I have an XLR here with me. And so what you want to do is you want to take the end of the XLR and have it face you in your right hand. And then first part is very simple. You're just going to do a standard loop, okay? The next thing you're going to do is you're going to reach around the cable. You're going to point out in front of you and then grab it, okay? So it looks like that. Your second line comes between your two loops. And then you do a standard loop, reach around, pull straight up, pointing in front, then you got your loop there, okay? Now, going through the basic construction of an XLR, you have several cables inside coated in rubber. And what happens when you do a normal loop and you do the same loop over and over again, you can see how I have to kind of twist the cable in my fingers the same direction to get it to, to uh, create proper loop. What that's doing is it's twisting the cable internally as well. So eventually this will lay more like a telephone cable on the ground. It won't lay flat at all. So when we do this, our, the correct wrapping method here, you make a normal loop and then what you're doing is you're twisting a little bit the opposite direction. And that's why you come through in between there. So you do a normal loop, twisting it one way, and then you do a loop this way, which twists it the opposite direction. So it will always lay flat on the ground, okay? So once you have your entire cable done, you should be able to grab both ends or one end and throw it out and have it come through nice and clean. And that's how you know you did it right. Thank you so much.